as I get to the fishing spot, we get hit with a little pop-up shower. I'm gonna sit here, wait this storm out. I'm gonna get all my gear ready. Yeah, as soon as I get a little break in the rain, I'm gonna beat feet down this path right here. It gets pretty sketchy down in there. It's awful dark. All right, and we reached that moment, y'all. The rain quit. I'm about to see y'all at the water right so here I am, still rained out. Y'all can see to show you guys all of these fish out here. Schools of carp. Schools of them. Look at this. Look at all these fish. Look at all these fish. Insane how many is out here. No wonder this hole's so muddy right now. Cheers. Got 10 pound fish swimming around in front of me. Whopper was all clogged up. Now it's in the There's one. There's a little quarter pounder. Woo! Lots of white bass. Now these guys will throw a treble hook in your hand and not think twice about it and they're spiny AF success never touched the ground look right here man we got a white bass on a whopper pop pretty fish y'all All right, we gotta keep on trucking. Better holes are ahead. Yeah, I had no idea I even had a bite. A little quarter pounder hit it, man. I was sitting there talking to you guys. <laughs> Whip that out of my hands. Here we go. Fish number two. I just had a deer run damn near over top of me. Call this place the Eagle's Roost. super salty I didn't get that but I just caught this big slab I didn't have the camera on 
Ah, oh, it's a crusher, but man, what a way to end the night. Man, what a big fish. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh, I had to fight that guy crazy because he was in the ripples. That's a beast. Yeah, barely fought. That's a nice fish, man. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, that made it all worth it. All right, I gotta get out of here. I've officially ran out of daylight. We had a good little outing. Appreciate y'all watching, man. And I'll catch y'all in part two, man. Right Shoop. back here to body dump, Bill. As I say every time I come back here, man, it just looks like somewhere they can hang out or something. It's disgusting back here. Gotta watch out for ladles. Damn it. You guys might see me limping around today. I got some ankle issues going on. Ah, oh, it's always a pain in to get down to the water here. I need to bring some uh, snips back here. down here there's a bait hanging out of that tree that's a fish I don't know what a white bass I thought maybe I might catch a white bass on this thing barely hooked fish number one That was awesome. Yes, sir. All right, you know, you know, give yourself more line than that on the crankbait. Don't be a dummy. Got him. Yes, sir. First fish of the day. Second fish of the day. <laughs> See you, buddy. All right, here's what we're working with. An old beat up buzz bait. Definitely seen its better days. And just this GoPro. See the sun's going down. So let's get out there. Let's get out there. Let's try to get a couple more top water fish before the season's over. The reason I went with this collar is because the white one hasn't been running very good. It is super dangerous walking out here. I'm really gonna mess myself up one day. Gosh, I might have just, I might have just spooked a carp or something. Cause that thing was way too big to be a bass.
small jaw on the buzz, y'all. Always like using the buzz. Man, he's got a hump back. Quick another quick another. Say hey. See. Okay, so I hooked the buzz bait fish. Guys, they feel so big from back there. This line's so stretchy and when you're hooking into a fish at 50 yards on some mana, you ain't got much pull. They kind of take you where they want to go. Best one yet. Nice. Big scent. Yes, sir. Man, I sure appreciate y'all watching. This is what we come for right here. Beautiful views. And even prettier fish. Thank you.